welcome again to a new tutorial of Tecla Structural Designer. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can model and design a composite column. Modeling a composite column is very easy in Tecla Structural Designer. Tecla Structural Designer generally give us the option of two type of, you can say, composite column. The first one is the concrete field and the second one is the concrete encased. The concrete field uh, option can be used in case of, you can say, the box uh, steel sections in which the concrete is going to be filled in the gaps. It can also be used for the circular ones also. In case of the concrete encased, whether it is going to be an I section or a channel section or an angle section, it is going to be embedded in a concrete member. And as we know, the composite column are going to be more rigid or you can say are going to be more stiffened than the our simple, you can say the I section or the other, you can say the column designs. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can use them in this Tecla Structural Designer, how we can model and design them and we can compare them. I have made here a grid. This grid is four by four and is three meter long. And there are three levels which are at three meter of story height. So we are going to make columns here. So first, what do you have to do? Uh, for that, we can go into this model on the ribbon tab and into the steel section, there is a column option. If you click on it, there is going to be column filled and column encased. We are going to make three columns, one for column filled, the other one is going to for the column encased and the third one is going to be our simple I section. So let's start with the simple I section first. So click on column here. And upon clicking column, we can see there are properties here. It is a known composite column. It's a rolled steel section. And it is going to be a grade. Uh, let's take the grade as FE450. Then the design section uh, order, we are going to click a new edit. We are going to take an Indian standard wide beam column. We are going to select this one. And then in this section, we are going to click new and edit. We are going to use an ISWB, let's say, uh, sorry, ISWB 150. Okay, I'm going to hide this details right now. So WB 150, we are going to see and we are going to select it. I'm going to keep all the things as it is by the default. That is uh, the alignment center and all of this thing. And let's just click here to make a one. Okay, so it's been done. Press escape to come out of the command. Go to the structure 3D tab to see if the uh, model has been done or the section has been designed. Okay, so it has been made here. Now let's go back to the base again. Now create the one with, you can say the concrete field. So click on concrete field. The, this is the base level. This is the top level. It is going to be a composite column. It is going to be a concrete field column. Here the grade, let's take FE 450 and concrete class as let's say M30. And here is the section. If you click on it, you go to the new and edit. These are the three types of sections which you can say support this uh, concrete field uh, option. The uh, first one is rectangular hollow section. The second is square hollow section and third is circular hollow section. Let's go into the square hollow section and for the depth, let's take uh, this one 50 by 51. Again, okay? the thickness is 2.9, just select it. And let's keep all the other things as it is. And let's create it here. Click on it. It is going to create up like this. Okay. If you go into the 3D, it is going to look something like this. Okay. Let's try to zoom it in. It will look something like this. Okay. The concrete is going to be filled in this portion that is M30 concrete is going to be there. Okay. Now let's go into the base again. Now this time let's create the composite column of your concrete encased column. Let's click on it. And here we can say it is concrete encased. Let's take the uh, grade of steel as again 540 just to make the comparison a bit uh, easier. The concrete class is M30. The section, the section is going to be W150 that is ISWB150. And encasing section here, this is the section of our concrete. Let's click on new edit and make this concrete section as 400 by 400. Make sure you make the uh, concrete section a bit bigger than the I section itself. You know, just uh, cross check it first so that the steel section is going to be encased properly into the section. I'll press OK here and I'm, I'm going to click here. Okay, press escape to come out of the command. If I go to structure 3D, you can see this column has been made here. You can see it is the concrete and in between that is what? There is an I section. Okay. You can see it. Okay. So this is 
easy how you can make and you can say composite column in you can say our tagline -like structural designer okay that has been done okay so now let's try to apply loads onto it and we are going to apply the loads from this load tab select that from here and suppose we are going to apply a point load let's apply a point load in this x direction select x from the property window and let's take a 5 kN load apply it here onto the top of this column also and onto the top of this column also we are applying a 5 kN of point load in x direction on the top of all the columns just to make our comparison a bit you can say clear from scene content on the right hand side let's take loading and click on text so that we can see the text that it is a 5 kN load which is getting applied now we can go into analysis and we can click analysis all and we can analyze and you can say check and all the do things now one thing that we forget to do that is we didn't uh, define the supports so first of all we need to de define the supports here okay so let's go into bottom delete the supports these are the supports which are by default has been modeled whenever you are going to make a column it is going to be there click on supports here i'm going to define a fixed support all the things are fixed click here click here and click here press escape now these all are you can say some uh, fixed support columns these are kind of can deliver columns okay now i'll go to analyze and click analyze all static so it has uh, done all the analysis we can go into the result tabs we can click on deflections here and we can see from this text we can click deflections we can see the um, encased column is deflecting only 134 mm but in comparison to the box column it is going very high and the third one that is a single our simple column is going 640 now. okay so from this we can see that uh, it's obvious that the composite column are going to be very strong or they are going to be very stiffened so uh, generally in case of high rise building we sometimes use the composite column and composite beams also so in the same manner you can also design the beam composite beams also and the composite columns also i hope this tutorial was useful to you if you have the, any question if you have, have any query please do let me know in the comments thank you bye bye mm -hmm.